What is the most difficult sin to avoid according to the Bible? That's the question we're going to explore today, and the answer might surprise you. While many sins are challenging to avoid, one stands out as particularly dangerous because of how deeply it can take root in our hearts. That sin is pride. Pride isn't always the obvious sin we think it is. It often disguises itself as something that seems good, like self-confidence or independence, but in reality, it can slowly turn our hearts away from God. The Bible repeatedly warns us about pride, and for good reason. It's a sin that leads to destruction, separation from God, and can even be the root of many other sins. We'll look at why pride is so difficult to avoid, how it shows up in our lives, and what the Bible says about it. More importantly, we'll learn how we can guard ourselves against this sin and pursue a life of humility. What is pride? To understand why pride is so dangerous, we need to understand what pride really is. Pride, in its simplest form, is an overestimation of ourselves. It's when we put ourselves above others, or even above God. It's thinking that we don't need God's help, that we are self-sufficient, or that our ways are better than His ways. But pride isn't just about arrogance. It can show up in subtle ways. It can look like self-reliance, where we think we can handle everything on our own, without seeking God's guidance. It can look like refusing to ask for help because we don't want to appear weak, and it can even look like comparing ourselves to others and feeling either superior or inferior based on that comparison. Pride is sneaky. It often doesn't feel like sin until it's already taken root in our hearts. Pride leads to destruction. One of the clearest warnings in the Bible about pride is found in Proverbs 16, verse 18. It says, Pride goes before destruction, a haughty spirit before a fall. This verse tells us exactly where pride leads. Destruction. When we are prideful, we are setting ourselves up for a downfall. Why is that? Because pride blinds us. It makes us think we are stronger, wiser, or more capable than we really are. When we rely on our own strength or wisdom, we are bound to fail because we are imperfect and limited. But when we rely on God, who is perfect and limitless, we are set on the path of life. Pride leads to destruction because it takes us off the path that God has laid out for us and puts us on a path of our own making, a path that inevitably leads to failure. God opposes the proud. Pride not only leads to destruction, but it also causes us to be in opposition to God. James 4 verse 6 says, God opposes the proud but shows favor to the humble. Think about that for a moment, God himself opposes the proud. If we are walking in pride, we are positioning ourselves against God. That's a dangerous place to be. Why does God oppose pride so strongly? Because pride is the exact opposite of the attitude God desires from us. God wants us to walk in humility, recognizing our need for Him and relying on His strength. Pride is essentially a refusal to depend on God. Pride is often considered the root of many other sins. Why? because pride makes us think we are above God's law or that we are an exception to the rules. It leads to disobedience because we think we know better than God. Pride can also lead to a lack of compassion. When we are prideful, we may look down on others, thinking they are less deserving of help or grace. We may become judgmental, forgetting that we too are in need of God's mercy. Pride causes us to focus on our own desires and needs, rather than on how we can love and serve others. Pride in our daily lives. Pride isn't just a sin that affects big decisions or moments in life, it's something we face every day. It can show up in our thoughts, our words, and our actions in ways we might not even realize. For example, 
Have you ever felt annoyed when someone corrected you? Have you ever refused to admit you were wrong, even when you knew deep down that you were? Or have you ever felt a sense of superiority over someone else, thinking you're smarter, more successful, or more spiritual? That's pride. Even something as simple as refusing to ask for help can be a sign of pride. We may think, I don't need anyone's help, I can do this on my own. But that mindset is dangerous because it shuts out the support and wisdom God wants to provide through others. The Call to Humility In contrast to pride, the Bible calls us to walk in humility. Humility is not about thinking less of ourselves, but about thinking of ourselves less. It's about recognizing our need for God and being willing to depend on Him in every area of our lives. It's about understanding that everything we have and everything we are comes from God, not from our own efforts or abilities. Jesus is the perfect example of humility. In Philippians 2 verses 5 to 8, we read how Jesus, though he was God, made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant. He humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. If anyone had a reason to be prideful, it was Jesus, but he chose humility, even to the point of laying down his life for us. How to overcome pride. So how do we guard ourselves against pride and pursue humility? The first step is recognizing our pride. We need to ask God to search our hearts and reveal any areas where pride has taken root. Psalm 139 verses 23 to 24 says, Search me, God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. When we ask God to search our hearts, He will show us where we need to change. Once we recognize our pride, the next step is repentance. We need to confess our pride to God and ask for His forgiveness. The Bible promises that when we humble ourselves before God, He will lift us up. It's through humility and dependence on Him that we find true strength. We can also guard against pride by practicing gratitude. When we regularly thank God for His blessings and recognize that all we have comes from Him, it helps keep us grounded in humility. Pride is one of the most difficult sins to avoid because it disguises itself as strength, confidence, and independence. But in reality, pride leads to destruction, separation from God, and the root of many other sins. Thankfully, God gives us the strength to overcome pride and live in humility, just as Jesus did. Choose humility and recognize your need for God in every area of your life. Rely on His strength, not your own. Amen. Thanks for watching, and if you're ready to keep going deeper into God's Word, watch the next video to continue growing in faith and understanding.